Hey guys, this is day three of the meeting with Sandra Rettich and we thought we do, <laughs> yes, the bubbles. So we thought um, the coffee cup mold um, is perfect for this. So we thought each of us is doing one cup because it's also taking quite a long time. I already speeded up my video a little bit and there you see Sandra pouring some of the UV resin into the mold. And we try not to do the handle of the cup. So yeah, we are quite busy. You see me on the left side and well, at least my hand <laughs> and on the right side is Sandra. So we are just spreading out um, the resin. I'm always a little bit slower than Sandra. <laughs> yeah, we, we were really laughing about it. So yeah, I'm just busy with my mold and now Sandra does her mold. And then I fill up some little gaps which are not covered with resin yet. It just takes the time and I already um, yeah, fast forward, uh, not fast, speed it up. Oh God, fast forward. Nein, don't do this. <laughs> um, I already uh, speed it up my, my um, video. Yeah, it's now um, two days, no, three days ago that we did this pour because I'm back at my home, but I need to do the voiceover and a little bit cutting. So also with this, Sandra's German version of um, this video is ready. So I'm doing my English version. But guys, I can tell you already um, in future, there will be coming also more German videos again. So just stay tuned. Anyway, there we are pulling the bubbles onto the UV resin. And I really struggle because I have all those big bubbles and in fact, I wanted them to be smaller, but <laughs> it's the first time I'm doing this technique. But we both thought, you know, the cups are really perfect for this technique, so. And at the end, it doesn't matter. It's just fun and it's also so showing a little bit the process. Sandra already did videos, I guess, three quarter of a year ago, I think, or even longer. And recently I saw um, Sherry Moulton doing them and I saw TN Art, so many artists are already doing them. So I don't really know who first got the idea, but I think this technique is, yeah, it's known to the people. Yeah, you, you really see us struggling to, to get the bubbles into the cups. So Sandra is telling me there and there, and then she's popping the bigger bubbles and <laughs> it's, it's just fun. And by the way, the cup mold is the cup coaster mold from Modes and Shapes. So yeah, anyway, there Sandra is using the UV lamp and it's looking like yeah, it's funny how the color changed. I, I've never really used this and seen this. So for me, it's really, yeah, it's great. So we are not um, putting the lamp on too long. I think um, in total for each coaster, it's something like um, th 30 uh, seconds. And then the UV resin is not hardened. It's still a little bit sticky because we want to put our mic micros on there. So, yeah, now we are also using our micros. We use an interference champagne and two different brown tones. So, um, yeah, we have a sort of maybe a hot chocolate with some cream or cappuccino or coffee with cream, whatever you like. <laughs> So we are first drying our piece and then we can start putting the resin on, uh, the resin, the micas. What am I saying? And like I said, the mold is from Molds and Shapes. 
I link them into my description box and if you use the promo code PT5 you get 5% discount. This mode is really fantastic. I yeah, all their modes are in fact fantastic. But I really like the like this one and I think it's also perfect for like jasmineite and yeah, but now we are doing the bubbles. So yeah, we used this makeup indicator and we really struggled. I will speed this up in a, in a minute because um, we are really, really taking a long time and I don't want you to bore, yeah, I don't want you to get bored, you know, just by putting us the mica into the mold and yeah, anyway, now you see we are quite fast. <laughs> yeah, we are just putting this on next time, you know, I would really advise to take a normal brush. I think it's much easier, goes faster, and it's also easier to get the mica in every little bu bubble and yeah, you know what I mean. But we will be getting there and it will be okay. So what we didn't film, we um, put a black um, back layer on later because we thought it's not necessary to film this and what I've also done I've brushed um, you will see it in a second my handle with gold mica it's a rich go yeah yeah it's a rich gold I think from Stefanie Etta I think so yeah and that's now um, our demolding it's the next day and we are very curious how they turned out. So Sandra said I should start, so I'm starting. And yeah, very careful with the handle, just so you can get it out. And I have a tiny bit up there of a sort of overflow or just a, a drip, you see it on top. But anyway, let me turn this over and look at that. Okay, some bubbles are quite big, but I like the golden handle and I like the interference champagne and the brownish. It really pops, it really looks very nice. So Sandra is now looking at it and we are discussing this. And yeah, I'm quite happy with my result. I mean, it was the first time, so Anyway, now it's Sandra's turn and look, ah, you cannot see it right now because she's also filming with her camera, but I hope she, uh, she didn't put it quite well, but her bubbles are much smaller. There you see it. Okay. I hope you liked this video. I hope you um, give us a thumbs up both of us check her channel and thanks for watching guys take care bye bye